Hello Capricorn, this is Renee and welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your love reading Capricorn and we're going to do things a little different. We're going to take a look at your energy, we're going to take a look at your person's energy and then we're going to take a look at your connection, see exactly how your person feels about the situation and let me know in the comment section if you enjoy this spread if this is something that you'd like to see more of. Okay, Capricorn. What energies do we have for Capricorn in this situation? Celebrate yourself. You deserve it. Okay. What energies do we have for Capricorn? What's coming in for Capricorn? self-worth okay and now we'll take a look at your person what energies do we have for Capricorn's person what energies do we have for Capricorn's person we have gratitude rampage list the 10 things you are thankful for Give me some energy for Capricorn's person, please. And we have dissipating. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to take another one for your person. Wouldn't be a reading if I didn't drop some cards. Okay, we have dissipating and we have rejection. So what is going on, Capricorn? At the bottom we have insecurity. Wow. So what is going on, Capricorn? I, I feel like this person is making you feel a little inadequate. You don't feel like you're kind of up to their standards. But you have a lot of faith in yourself. You're kind of keeping your confidence up. You're not letting your confidence weigh down because you're feeling a little self-worth right now, you know. And I feel like you know that you're worthy. You know that you're worthy of this situation. And you're kind of trying to hold it tight. Your person... Capricorn. Your person is very thankful for you. They may be making lists. If not on paper, they're making mental lists kind of about the things that they really find appealing about you. Things that they really are seeing you as, you know, they're making these mental lists, these mental notes, okay, Capricorn is like this, or Capricorn is like that, you know, and I, and I can kind of see them making this mental note that, you know, kind of keeping tally of anything that you say, maybe if you say negative things, I feel like this person is kind of keeping a tally of that situation. And it's kind of making them kind of fade off, kind of wander, kind of go within. Because they feel sort of rejected in this situation. They may feel, while you're trying to focus on how you feel about the situation, I feel like your person is actually feeling kind of rejected, kind of, hmm... like you're not the focus and I actually had similar cards in the Gemini reading you may want to take a look at the Gemini reading if your person is a Gemini but um, yeah I feel like there's a lot going on Capricorn we're gonna take a look we're gonna take a look a little bit deeper what is the energy of Capricorn how does Capricorn see this relationship how do they feel about this person spirit the page of swords okay they really want to speak you really want to speak your truth okay. 
You want to speak your truth, Capricorn. And we have the devil. Okay. Now, the devil is your energy. So, I feel like you really want to speak the truth, but you're kind of holding back because you don't want to kind of do anything to hinder this situation. You may be talking to other people about advice, and I feel like if other people are giving you advice, it may not be good advice, Capricorn, so just be aware of that. Um, just be aware of the advice that you're getting on your relationship. Especially don't talk to single people about your relationship because if they're single, they're single for a reason. Come on now. Um, don't take advice from a single person. Take advice from someone who's been in a relationship for a very long time, who knows how to approach a person and have that open communication. We're going to get one more card for Capricorn. Yeah, we have the Seven of Swords. So yeah, Capricorn, you definitely feel like someone's being sneaky. Someone's being conniving. Um, I feel like you you feel like this person isn't telling you the whole truth. The whole that's the reason why you're looking for truth in this situation with this page of swords. You you're looking to speak your truth, but you're looking to hear the truth as well. Because you feel like this person may not be in all the way. You know, you feel like this person is kind of juggling. They're kind of making you an option, you know, and you're, you're kind of feeling it with your self-worth. You're kind of feeling that situation. Spirit, give me a message for this person. What is a message for this person? The Eight of Wands. So this person likes to communicate as well. This person may like to talk to other people. They may like to talk on the phone. And I feel like that may kind of make you uneasy. You kind of feel like this person is constantly talking about you. Hmm. This person also may be very busy. They're very focused on other things. And that leaves you to believe they're not focused on you and your situation. Yeah, you're feeling, this person is feeling kind of left out in the cold. They're feeling rejection. They're feeling like, I feel like that's the reason why they're talking to, to other people about the situation. Because they're feeling like they can't talk to you. I feel like this person would talk to you if you gave them an opening to just sit down and talk and communicate the situation out. But I feel like they feel kind of rejected. They feel kind of left out in the cold. Yeah, the five of swords. So yeah, they feel like if they were able to communicate with you, it might cause some conflict. It might cause some kind of argument, some kind of challenge coming through, you know? This seems like a very trying relationship at the moment. It seems like you're going through a lot of challenges. But I feel like this person would open up to you, Capricorn, if you just gave them the opportunity. Just gave them the opportunity. Sit down calmly and just talk the situation out. You see how she's standing here with this sword. She's not being defensive. She's just being casual, calmly, waiting for the truth to come out. Waiting for the information that she needs. You know, but she, she's not aggravated. She's just doing this calmly. She's holding up the sword and she's calmly waiting. And I feel like that may be what you need to do, Capricorn. You just need to sit down and calmly speak your truth and let your person speak their truth you know let them know if you're in it for the long term that you're not trying to reject them and let them know that you want to feel worthy in the situation okay for you we have the queen of pentacles for your person we have the Ten of Swords. 
Wow. Yeah, they, they feel like they're defeated. And I feel like you have the upper hand, Capricorn. You're the... You know, the pinnacles, this is your sign. So this is you coming out in a very strong way because you, Capricorn, are very resourceful, very reliable. And I feel like you're using those resources maybe against your person. You know, I feel like what I'm trying to say is if you look for bad news, you're going to find bad news that sort of situation and I feel like this person feels defeated they feel like done with you know let's get another card for Capricorn the nine of cups and for your person the ten of cups so we're moving from the Nine of Cups to the Ten of Cups. So I feel like as long as you sit down and communicate, even if it's hard communication, I feel like this person, it's very hard for them to communicate. They may be shut down a little bit. They may be um, blocking themselves from communicating. They may be the kind of person that's very um, introverted. And they kind of hold a lot of feelings to themselves. They don't really let people know how they feel. You know, but once you get those feelings out, once you get that information out to where you both are on the same level, I feel like it's going to progress. We're going from the Nine of Cups to the Ten of Cups. So, yeah, I, I feel like it's going to take a, a big weight off the situation and you're able to really enjoy each other again you're able to walk into this happiness walk into this you know place of pleasure and uh, not of pain you know but I feel like it's going to take communication yeah it's going to take a lot of communication a lot of healing on your part and I feel like this is bringing you you know the the balance that you're needing but you need to be patient in this situation it's all about timing and holding yourself to a certain standard Capricorn I feel like you have self-control in this situation and sometimes you may need to have self-control maybe you need to sit back and just let this person speak their truth um, without cutting in kind of letting them speak yeah, we have the Five of Pentacles again. So I feel like, you know, you're going into happier times. But I, there's still going to be some challenges going, going ahead. I feel like this person is still feeling a little left out. And that may be their confidence. That may be something that's within them that they need to work out. But I, I feel like this person has like a... A worry this person may worry a lot they may have kind of like a po uh, a poverty perspective like they never have enough they may be you know I hate to say this but they may be very needy they may need your attention they may want your attention, you know, but you have the world on the bottom. So I feel like this is moving into a different dynamic. Things are changing, and I feel like it's changing more on a positive aspect with this Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups, and the Temperance card. So I feel like where you're very balanced, Capricorn, this person is unsure. They want to be happy. They want to have this relationship with you. But they're very unsure. They're very insecure. They're very needy. Yeah, definitely. Give me a, a love card for Capricorn. How does Capricorn feel about this situation? The camera. Reminiscing, keepsake, perception. Learn from the past, make memories. 
Okay, Capricorn. So I feel like if you've been with this person for some time, you may see yourself with this person um, in the early days. You know, you may be reminiscing, may try to view this person, or this may be you looking towards the future with this person. Um, you want to make these memories, but I feel like you're learning from whatever past that you went through you don't want to travel down that road again so you're like seeing the signs and you're like trying to put a stop to them right away because you don't want to travel down the same road you traveled in the past you know for your person we have kisses unconditionally loving giving and receiving affection falling in love Okay, so this person really cares about you. They really love you. They want to be happy, but I feel like they're fighting their own insecurities. For the connection, we have separation, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of the future. Yeah, so in this situation, there may be a separation or you may have some sort of separation. You may be separated at the moment. Um, but I feel like this person really cares about you. They really want to see things in a different light. But I feel like at the moment they're kind of incapable of doing that. Let's get some more love cards for Capricorn. For Capricorn, we have healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. Okay, what do we have for our Capricorn's person? What do we have for Capricorn's person? We have freedom. There is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be yeah i feel like that's what you're letting this person know that it's it's free to be themselves it's free to be okay you know Let's see okay what wanted to pop out we have trust transformation occurs through acceptance once you accept the current situation it will automatically transform and we have Close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. Yeah, and I feel like that's what this person wants to feel with this Ten of Cups energy. They want to feel that happiness. They want to feel that joy. They, you know, let's get some cards. How does... Capricorn's person feel about the situation. Give me some cards on how they feel, please. Okay. You may be older, or they may be older, and you may have met this person online. Or you may be speaking to them online or through some kind of text messaging, you know, DMs something like that you may communicate with this person this person may be kind of far away hmm wow not speaking to you and be straight with me so that's where I get the separation from you and this person may not be speaking at the moment and they really want you to be straight with them they want you to be totally honest totally accepting of the situation you know hmm very interesting spirit give me some cards for an outcome on the situation for Capricorn and their person what is an outcome for you we have the seven of Pentacles for your person we have the Queen of Cups For the connection, 
we have the chariot okay so I, Capricorn I feel like this is going to take some work this is going to take some work on your part as well as theirs but I feel like there's a lot of love here there's a lot of admiration there's a lot of feelings that may be left unsaid um, she's kind of looking away she's looking in the other direction so I feel like she's holding or he's holding the feelings kind of very close to them they're kind of keeping those feelings hidden and in their inner space you know but I feel like this connection is going to move forward this connection is progressing but it's going to take a lot of work and effort on both of your parts but I feel like it's something that you both feel is worth the effort it's something you both feel like it's going to take hard work, but it's worth every battle, you know. And I feel like it's going to take a lot of patience. Um, but you're going to move into this situation where you're moving into better ground. You're moving into progress, into, you know, something better as far as this situation is referred to um, but I feel like one of you or both of you are taking action you may end up taking a trip together that's gonna make all the difference you're able to focus on each other this may be just uh, like a staycation this may be somewhere where you just spend time alone just really focusing on you in this relationship um, but I feel like it's going to make a, a very good change I feel like it's something that both of you need in this situation a staycation you may end up, if you're not already living together, you may resolve the situation and move in. Or they may move in with you. Okay, Capricorn. This is what I have for you. And if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And let me know in the comments if you are enjoying this spread, if this is something that you want to see again. And until the next reading, Capricorn, many blessings to you, love and light.